When you fall, you say I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and get up and keep going and you're going to see less and less because it is not about you. It is only about what Jesus did. Only about what he did and your faith in it. And, and the fact that we're called to be hated under glory. That's what we're called to do. And you know what? We've been graced to do it. Jesus suffered horribly for us. He was made that for us. And he is rejoicing and, and advocating for us right now. And has never left. Has never left. Because if you ain't Christ, it don't belong to you. Their evil prophecies don't belong to you. Their evil prognostication don't belong to you. It don't belong to you. It's not for you. Their dark winner is not for you. Okay, beloved, vision number three of four on 5-21-18. I mean, at 5 21 5 18, 21 <laughs> Okay, I'm going right into this. I'm going to read the dream scripture because I have to do these separate. John 13 and 19. Now I tell you before it come that when it come to pass, you may believe that I am he. Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. Uh, 2 Chronicles 3, I mean 36 and 16, and that told you that's not only just a, a vision of the night, but that is foresight, hindsight, to able to perceive. Like I said, people can't perceive what's going on with all the stuff in the media now. That is vision, okay? Um, but they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words until the wrath of the Lord arose, so there was no remedy. They're doing that now. And that divine line is happening. There will be no remedy, okay? Judgment will hit. Okay. First John 4 and 6. He that knoweth God heareth us, and he that knoweth God heareth us not. That's why they don't hear us. Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when it come to pass, and lo, it will come, then they shall know that the prophet has been among them. Uh, Job 33 and 14. He speaks and seals words in the night. Uh, that is, uh, for God speaketh the once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon man and slumbers upon his bed, then he openeth the ears of man and sealeth their instruction, that he might withdraw man from his purpose and have pride uh, uh, from him. And he keepeth back his soul from the pit. I'm going to go down uh, to our warn the uh, wicked, according to Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9. And I am warning the righteous, according to Ezekiel uh, uh, 3 and 20. And Matthew 10 and 27, what I tell you in darkness, that speak you in light. And what you hear in the ear of that preach ye from the house tops, and I'm doing it now. Acts 2 and 17 speaks about the outpouring of his spirit upon all flesh, and your young men and your uh, shall dream dreams, and your old men uh, see visions, and upon his servants and handmaids. Uh, he will pour out of his spirit, and that is upon all flesh. And so, beloved, again, I'm Apostle Chantrell Davis, and this is vision three of four that happened on 5, 18, and 21. It was short but terrifying nonetheless, okay? Okay? And I know this is where people live. I don't know what I'm going to name it, but I just called it Fiery Asteroids. Dream Vision. And I've never had one quite like this. And those of you who follow me long enough know I've had visions because the angel took me up into uh, the heavens and that way out of space. I can see the earth way off. And I mean, it was a big, that might be Wormwood. It was a big asteroid. And he moved me through the smoke. I literally felt it on my skin and everything. Literally. And um, and it was brawling toward Earth. But Earth, if I was to say, if I was to say distance and time, we could understand it. But we already know what it looks like in space. It's completely something different because it's an Earth. It's big. But I would say 20, 30, 40, 50 miles off. But we know ain't no way it was that close because we've already been on the Earth. But I'm talking about with the physical sight, which I couldn't have saw with physical sight. But then again, I could have because it was the Earth. It is big. But it was a big asteroid. But in this one, and boy, the dream that came, the vision that came after this was just, oh, I thought the astral one was bad. The one that followed right after that one. And I woke up. And I believe I, I believe sometimes my dreams are being disturbed because the enemy don't want you to see. So sometimes they, they, they try to fight you to disturb you so that the dream is broken up and that it's fragmented. But every time I lay back down, it picked right back up. But I'm still doing this separate one. It might have been one dream and I just got woke up. I don't know. Either way it go, they're getting delivered. Okay, and this dream was dream number three, and I just called it fiery asteroids because I haven't had asteroid dreams before. But this, they look almost like hot coals, y'all. I, I, 
they look like fiery hot coals. I don't know if this was in the spirit realm or if this is going to be a literal thing, but they look like hot coals raining down on people, on neighborhoods, they're on houses, people was outside, literally old people. I mean, hitting them, old people. And they were fiery, smoky, but they look like large hot coals to me. Fire falling down on people. And yes, it was in a populated area. It was in a housing area. It was where people were walking and talking. And usually, that's not what I saw. I would see them fall and warning of them or that big one. Because the only other one I had, no, I had more than one dream about asteroids. You know, but they were always falling in the air. You know how you could see them streaking by in the air and they never hit the ground? I would see them like that. This one, they was raining down on homes, on people. And I don't know if this is going to be a spiritual asteroid beat down or a physical asteroid beat down or both. But they look like big old hot coals and, and hitting people, hitting houses. But it's weird because I say it's a mixture because I think it's a spiritual and a physical meaning because some of them that hit people literally look like if somebody took a hot coal but it was about this big, them kind. And asteroids be having smoke and all that. They look like hot coals that you would take out of a fireplace. They look like them. More of them look like them than asteroids, but they were running out of the earth. How you got something like that? How can that even be? But they look like, they look more like hot coals that come out of when you burn a fireplace, but they weren't tiny. They like, and bigger, hitting people, but they look more like the hot coals than asteroids, just raining out of the sky, everywhere, and it was in a populated area, and that's what Vision 3 was, and y'all stay tuned for Vision 4, because that had sores breaking out on people's skin that looked like the bubbling up ball with blisters around it. And I was simultaneously showing a portal into one realm, and Egypt was doing the same thing they were doing over here to try to get it off of them. That's vision number three. Stay tuned for vision number four. Did you know that when you hit thumbs up, you enable more to be fed by the very message that just fed you? So share the spiritual meal, feed others, work a righteous work, work at evangelism by working the thumb. Thumbs up, feed more. Thumbs up, feed more. So into the good ground of preach be a voice not an echo, yet only as you have purposed in your heart. For God loves a cheerful giver. The truth, the truth of the word of God. Word of God. First Corinthians 9:11 reads, If we have sown into your spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? Give only with purpose and cheer, for we desire fruit that will abound towards your account. We thank you for all of your support, seed of your time, seed of your prayers, and the purpose seed of your gifts. To give, visit our YouTube channel and click on the PayPal logo or go directly to PayPal using the following links or email preachbvne at yahoo.com. To listen to more messages and for the latest updates and offers, visit www.preachbvne.webs.com. Also view messages on the YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash preach be a voice not an echo ministry. Also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Do the work of an evangelist. Watch it, then share it. Beloved, we wish above all things that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Grace be with you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.